For problem 2.40, we have, we're asked if a point charge inside a cavity on the charge conductor is the force on Q necessarily zero. Now, it gives us a specific figure, and I just drew a random one as the specific figure is a random figure, a random surface. So now let's imagine different charges, one right here, I'm going to color code it, it's going to be easier, one right here and one at the bottom right here. So now let's start looking at the blue one, the one on top. The blue one will attract charges, negative Q all around. We're going to start analyzing one at a time. That means that we won't see the other charges affecting anything for right now. All around the surface, as we said. Now, as you can see, the distance between I'm sure we do it in the color so you know, the distance between this point here and the surface right here it's very close and from here to the other side it's very far now as you can probably remember Coulomb's law which is going to be the force is equal to k times one charge times the other charge divided by the distance squared in the course the direction of the distance now Let's look at the force given by this side right here. Well, we can call this distance R1 and this second distance R2. So we know that R1 is way smaller than R2. So when we find force 1, K is equals to Q1 times Q2 over r1 square in the r1 direction and force 2 is equals to pretty much the same thing let me just copy this and in this case the direction is going to be r2 in the direction of r2 now we know that everything when we put it together when we put it next to each other q1 q2 r1 direction doesn't really matter actually we will just Look at the magnitude of these two. So let me just do like this. I put a question mark. So is it bigger or is it the same? Well, let's look at it. Q2 over R2 squared. Now we can look at it and immediately start canceling out things. These two things go away. That means that we're only left with 1 over R1 squared, the magnitude of this and 1 over r2 squared. So which one is bigger? Well, very clearly, r 1 over r1 squared is going to be way bigger than 1 over r2 squared because of what we said earlier right here. That means that force 1 is going to be much greater than force 2. So some of the forces of F I will be different than zero because these two, for example, are pointing in two different directions, but the magnitude is way different, therefore, the charge will be attracted in toward upside uh, therefore the force will always be zero now what we looked at before was a special case for 2.39 was a special case where we have let me clear this up a bit okay where we have a charge perfectly at the center of a circle and all the charges on the outside are pulling the same direct and opposite direction, the same magnitude, because the distance is going to be the exact same. If the distance is not the exact same, then no. So our generalized question, which is, is it always like this, makes us think that the, this shape is not is an unusual shape, because that's most likely what the shape will be like, something that, that is not a perfect shape. If it was a perfect shape, then it's a special case. If it's a random shape that you just happen to draw, then you're talking about the right problem. So let's look at charge 2. Oops. Oops. No, it doesn't delete more. 
charge 2. Charge 2 will actually be a little different. As you can see, it's actually close on two sides. Here, so we'll have minus q here, minus q here, and then minus q here, minus q here. Now, one thing that we can say is, and we'll look at it directly, is, is q in a cavity that is perfectly shaped? And I'm writing perfectly shaped, I mean, is there any symmetry? For example, is there any lines of symmetry that passes through q? No, there's not. Therefore, the forces acting on it will not be perfectly one against the other. The magnitude will not be the same in opposite direction. Now, maybe the charge that is pulling this way and the charge up here that is pulling up might be the same. And the charge on the two sides will be the same. So we can say that these four here cancel out. But for example, the charge pulling in this direction is definitely not the same as the charge pulling in the opposite direction, so like this. Therefore, the, the forces on charge will not always be equal to zero. Now, the last charge that we have left is purple Q. Purple Q. But I'm not going to resolve this as I'm going to give you this exercise. It's pretty clear what the answer will be like, so I don't need an explanation, but of course I invite you to think about it and tell me.